I know a lot of you guys who follow me here on YouTube do not really use TikTok, and that's okay. Uh, I do use TikTok every day, and I'm really blessed to follow a lot of great creators there. And occasionally one of those creators will follow me back, and they turn out to be really amazing people. And one of those people was Waffler69. Now, if you take a quick glance at his videos, you're going to see another heavyset fat guy with you know greasy hair doing food reviews. But if you stuck around long enough to get to know the guy, you would realize he is one of the kindest and purest souls in any social media creation. And I just genuinely loved his food reviews, but more importantly, I loved the person in front of the camera. I loved the kindness. I loved the fact that he would even go as far as to try to teach his audience how to do what he was doing. In fact, I really, when it comes to shorts, I didn't know what I was doing, but he really showed me uh, how to get people's attention at the first few seconds with a video he made. And it was my pleasure to know that he followed me as well as me following him. And I don't know, I, I always wanted to reach out to the guy and talk to him, but these days I always feel super awkward doing that. So I never did, but I have big regrets. I, I really wish I'd spoken with him. So yesterday when I opened up TikTok, I got a few videos in my feed, including one from Waffler's brother, Clayton, explaining that he had died suddenly at the age of 33. He was complaining about some chest discomfort and then had a heart attack. And uh, yeah, he's gone and that sucks. I also feel like he was one of the most relatable personalities on social media because again, he struggled with his weight. He struggled with some mental health issues. He struggled with his teeth health. I mean, there's yeah, the guy really struggled. He was a hell of a survivor, and I, I wish he had survived a hell of a lot longer. And I'll say one of the most frustrating things about the discourse here is I see a lot of people blaming, obviously, his diet for the heart attack. Well, it actually turns out his brother Clayton confirmed that his family has genetic heart conditions. And certainly the food probably did not make that any easier, but it would be entirely possible that if this guy ate nothing but salads that genetic heart condition could have easily killed him no matter what. So I hate that this dude's legacy is getting crapped on that way because genuinely he was a good person and his content was very good. And, and honestly, he would do anything to make people laugh, whether it's eating expired foods, eating gross sodas, dressing up in costumes. This guy was a next level creator. I think he was born to make people happy. And I think the world is a slightly worse place without him. One of the reasons I wanted to make this video was to point out that his brother Clayton has a GoFundMe up and they've already had to pay $1,500 for cremation. And obviously they'll want to do some services and probably they have the medical bills because they did rush him to the hospital to try to save his life. And unfortunately, they're unable to do it. And Clayton says that the rest of the money will go to help his grieving mother. And I, man, it's heartbreaking. But I hope that you do check out the link in the description box below. I will link uh, the GoFundMe. If you enjoyed Waffler's content, if you enjoyed the stuff he did, or maybe if this is the first time you're hearing about him, you, you just care about people in this situation. And the other reason I wanted to make this video is just to say, take care of yourselves, guys. Make sure you know your family's history. Make sure you know what you're susceptible to. Get one of those DNA tests done if you don't know your family and you're estranged. Do what you can to take care of yourself. Have a good relationship with your doctor. Make sure that you're seeing them and you're aware of what's going on. And yes, I know what a hypocrite this makes me, but you and I, we need to watch what we're eating a hell of a lot better. And uh, we need to take better care of ourselves because eventually it's going to be us that people are talking about having passed away. And I don't want that for either of us. So take care of yourselves. It is so frustrating that sometimes the best of us die so young and I sometimes the most intelligent, some of the most creative, the most talented, and I think in this case, one of the most kindest people on, in social media. Social media is filled with garbage people and jerks and just awful human beings. And they are some of the people at the top, the Jakes and the Logan Pauls, right? 
but sometimes you have genuinely good people in it like Taylor and based on the first hand accounts of people that knew him and loved him and the content that he made I genuinely think he was one of the best of us and it sucks to see him gone so if you've never heard of the guy check out his content I think you'll be glad that you did I think it's very uplifting and awesome stuff on top of that check out his GoFundMe and as always guys thanks for watching I love you very much and I'll speak with you again soon now please Take care of yourself. Get that test done. Get that genetic test done. Know what kind of family history you're facing. It's, it's important you do.